Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. He has the most beautiful smile. He's a beautiful soul. Yeah. Please welcome Jason Derulo. Yay! Oh, Jason. Where bring me my Jason? There he is. Hello. Look at oh, that. Come and, on and in. Once and again, it, he smells amazing. I know. Stop <laughs> sniffing the guests. He always smells the damn good. Come here, Jason. Give me a big old hug. Good to see you. Yeah, well, you do smell nice. Hey, God, man. Look at oh, the cold. Oud. Y'all heard Look of Oud yet? What is it? Oud. Oud. How do you no. smell that? I don't really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. Thank you, you look man. awesome. Got a Come movie. On. Let's see. Got a movie coming out. Got some music out there. I mean, pff. yeah, it's a Life. lot of vibes right now, man. It's a lot of vibes. Life must be just so boring for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's rough, man. I don't know. We we had our big Elvis Duran morning show Christmas party yesterday, so we're kind of we're. We're dragging a little today. Oh, mm-hmm. a, little, little, we're a little tired. A little drinky drink. <laughs> yeah, we had a little drinky drink. I was mm. happy my husband actually drove home because I don't think I could have. So that good was, for you. That oh, was a wow. Good that was that an was amazing good. night, dude. Yeah. A, and no, it was a brunch. Uh, yeah, and see here I was being responsible because you know we had the little cats party last night and I was like, nah, I'm I'm seeing Elvis tomorrow morning. You know I, I, I'm a I'm a, I'm gonna take it easy on the drinks because last time, remember I was like two like an hour later, some crazy. I was like I'm not doing that again. He was oh, out no. partying. Whoa, the night I don't know, but you know, here's the, I was be, here three hours ago. I was ready. To, to, to be fair, I think I don't know if it was last time or the time before you came in and you you were still going from the night before. Yeah, yeah that's and, what it was. Uh, but you know what I do as the What's perfect that? host? I started doing shots to catch up with <laughs> That's what I do, because I want to always make sure our guests feel at home and Absolutely. feel comfortable. And I appreciate that, man. Right. Thank you. So if you're sober today, let's all, let's all sober up. Jason Drill is sober today. <laughs> so, so cats, you know, when they first told me that they were going to, first of all, when they first told me they were going to do a show about cats on Broadway, I'm like, <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And, and, and as we know, how that all turned out. It turned out all right. But when they said they were going to put it in a movie, mm-hmm. a film, I was like, I don't know. Yeah. But I'm hearing things about this movie. I'm hearing great things. Man. What, do you, what do you think of it? Be honest. If you hate it, tell us. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I, I had really no perspective. I mean, I, I remember I was talking to uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber's wife, and he's, she's like, uh, have you seen the film? And I was like, no, nah, I haven't seen the film yet. She's like, well, how the hell are you going to promote the film if you haven't seen it? <laughs> um, now, I finally have seen it. Uh, last night and I thought it was so freaking good man it was just it just like transports you to a different world and you feel like you're part you know of of this cat troop man it's it's really really something crazy mm. you know what when you find someone as talented first of all with a script of Andrew Lloyd Webber who's sat in this chair many times mm-hmm. someone who's that that creative mm-hmm. it makes me when i meet people like that and people like you jason who are so creative and so so talented i feel like I'm, <laughs> I, yeah. I don't i can't even do anything i have no talent like that it's an original god-given thing and to be able Thank to you. visualize what cats would look like in a film mm-hmm. those people they've got it going on i mean for sure when you were actually acting for it did mm-hmm. you ever say to yourself i don't know what this is going to look like at all this is weird um so I, i'll tell you when i first walked in they have um this cat lady, uh, I can just call her a t- cat teacher. She probably likes that a little cat more. Lady. Her name is Sarah. Wonderful lady. And she's like, well, let's see what you got, mate. And I'm like, what you mean? She's like, show me your cats. I was like, um, <laughs> all right. So I get on the floor and I start doing this weird monkey rabbit thing. <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it's just, it took a second to like really sink in. Hold on. Here, move my chair. Yeah. Okay, I want to show you my cat. Oh, oh, oh dear God. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so, so you get on all fours, right? <laughs> Is this a cat? So, um, what do I do? Okay, so here's, 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 the, here's the first this looks wrong yeah. thing. You got your knees on the floor, and cats don't have knees. Okay. So, you, oh, yeah, so you have right. to lift your pelt. It's like a lot of core. Yeah, there you go. Right. Oh, this right. is so, a lot of core so workout. It's like I'm planking. All right. Yeah, absolutely. And then... Nice um, boots, by the way. Thank you. I <laughs> appreciate that, man. Uh-huh. And now it's a lot of shoulder movements. You know how when you see a cat so walk, it's like a lot, of, a lot of shoulder. It's like, wow. Um. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I mean, I, I get at about a C. It's like it's like an average cat. You know what I'm saying? Dear Lord, I'm on my hands and knees oh in front of Jason. <laughs> How long did it take you guys to practice to like get it? Um, I think it was it was something that just continued to get better and better with time. Honestly, and um, just to first start it out, I mean, we were in cat school, you know, and, and everybody's wait, wondering. Wait, wait, back up, cat school. That's so All crazy. right. I mean, do you remember like some of the things they taught you in cat school? Like, was, was there like a list of things you must do in order yeah, to be a good abso- cat? Yeah, absolutely. Cats uh, don't walk like we walk, so uh, they walk same arm, same leg. So that's first off. 
Um, hmm. sec- secondly, they notice things with their nose first. So they'll, they'll, they'll smell something and then they'll see it. So they'll, they might react before they actually see you. Really? You know what I'm saying? So for instance, if there's, you know, a, a hot cat behind me, I might... And then turn around. Uh, you know really? what I'm saying? And, that's, that just, and that's that just sexy. brings that just brings things to to life for you. Is this why cats like? I always feel like they know if there's a ghost in the room, or they oh, know absolutely. if somebody's like coming up the driveway. They look behind you like yeah. this. Mm-hmm. They sense, and you're, it. you turn around and go, "What the hell's happening?" Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know what I love about cats is when they walk away. Yeah, they're little buttholes looking at you. <laughs> yeah, they can lick their own buttholes. Okay, Gandhi. They can lick their own buttholes. Did you guys work on that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. That day was a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> It's tra- I, I'll it's, tell you more about it later. It was weird. It's stranger necklace. We we it was a lot of butt sniffing. Just 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 know that. I mean, it was a lot of licking, butt sniffing. We we're all naked on set. Pass, it was weird. If you want to pass cat school, you got to do the cat stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Did it make you want to have a cat as a pet or no? Were you definitely not? Right. Um, <laughs> so I think. I mean, I didn't like cats before, but I think I'm even more I'm more turned off a little. Because, you know, I mean, I, I tell you, like, we got really close. Let's just put it like that. Right. Yeah. We had these Lycra suits on. And, um, yeah, it was a lot of, like, t- it was very touchy-feely. Because, you know, cats don't greet each other with a handshake, right? No. It's a, like, hello, and it's, like, rub rub all on you. It's, and you, you rub your that. mouth on people because you want them to have mm-hmm. your, your saliva on them, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so it's, a, it's yeah, I, I didn't Can know that one. But this that, is the oddest. <laughs> This is the strangest Jason Derulo interview we've ever done. All these things could get real weird in the real world. Definitely, yeah. and you know, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like algebra, where you you know you're learning you know all these things that you'll never use again. <laughs> hey, uh, so cats, uh, it's out Friday, yeah, and I want you to see it. And the music I hear is just man, inc- it's incredible. earworms. You know, everybody with me now is is singing the songs from last night. Yeah. Wow! Isn't Jennifer Hudson on there? She's on yeah, there. and oh. she is phenomenal yeah. in it. She is so good, and I heard her sing "Memories" a million times because I was actually there, and we shot it shot it for several days. Has it been released? Do yeah. we have that out yet? No, no, no. It's not. It's, I don't think it's out yet. Friday? Yeah. So the song's not out till Friday either. N- only one song is out now. Beautiful Ghost. Okay. Yeah. Hey, but you know, with you on set, and there's Taylor, and there's Jennifer. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is like a powerhouse of. Yeah, of uh, Idris Elba, James Corden, oh, hello. Judy Dench, Ian McKellen. Sheesh. I mean, I mean the list did you ever like slap off. yourself and go, "This is crazy"? Look at all these people. For sure, for sure. And you know, for me, like I really had to kind of just stay within my character because, I mean, it's it's so, it's so many talented people in the room, man. It's like the best actors in the world, yeah. the best musicians in the world, some of the best dancers. I mean, when the director yells "cut," you've seen some of the craziest things you've ever seen. Wow. wow. Well, we'll all see it. We'll all see it Friday. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm going to get really high and go see it. <laughs> oh my God. That's how you were when you saw it on Broadway. Yeah, I know. I oh, amazing. I, I don't think I've ever seen cats sober. It's like Domino's Pizza. Right, right. Never had it sober. The best part about that, when we had Andrew Lloyd Webber here, I said to him, I don't get it. I said, I saw it on Broadway. I don't get it. And he described it, and I still didn't think he got it. <laughs> like, you know? well, well, I think the movie version is a bit different because there uh, is much of a plot added to it. Okay. So it's, oh. it's not exactly the same. Thank okay, gosh. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, you, uh, I don't want you to mess your hair up, but I do have a caller I want you to hear here. Yeah, and there's please. your volumes down there. Uh, good morning. Kathy, calling from Hollywood, Florida. Say good morning to Jason Derulo. Good morning, Jason. Well, I knew him as Jason Desolo, and I was his fifth grade teacher. No at way. At the Soon Elementary. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What, what's your name? You on Instagram. Well, I don't remember if I was Navoa or if I was good. At the Dune Elementary School of the Arts. Oh, and then you went wow. up the Parkway. And then you went up to Dillard. And uh-huh. I followed you on Instagram. Oh, and wow. I just say- so so what, what subject what subject did you teach? Or was it like like all inclusive? I was fifth grade. So we fifth taught grade. all of the subjects. And then oh, just wow. the performing arts. And we did like our end of the year show. And so I so did, so did you remember me as a, do you remember me as a student? As, as a student, you were in my class in fifth grade. And how and how was I? Like, did I have uh, like any disorders that you remember? Like, <laughs> was I nice? Know, you were great, but you were also very talented. Oh. Do you follow him on Instagram? He's definitely grown I up. Do. <laughs> <laughs> that could be weird. 
I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing. You know, so so uh, Mrs. Good or Mrs. Yes. What? Navoa. Navoa. I actually I think I remember Miss Navoa. Yeah. I think I, th- I think I remember Miss Navoa. You sound yeah. really cool, yeah. Kathy. Yeah. You know, you know, we love yeah. our teachers. We do everything we can to support teachers here. Uh-huh. My my fifth now, grade my fifth grade teacher was her name was Miss McMurder. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, oh, Miss Miss McMurray. We called her oh. Miss McMurder. I hated her. She was wow. just awful. You sound like you had, you had cool teachers. Yeah, she sounds incredible. I mean, and I, I'm also now a principal in Miramar, Florida at Fairway Elementary, so I would love for you to give a shout-out to Fairley Elementary and to Bethune Elementary. Absolutely. A big shout-out to Fairley Elementary and Bethune Elementary. You know, I need to come by. Stop by, Jason. Yes, yeah, you absolutely. Do. I'll drive him by. <laughs> Kathy, thank you for listening to us. And thank you so much for putting me on. I really, really agree. And good luck with everything, and I will be sure to watch that. Thank you so much. You, you, you enjoy your holidays. All right, you too. Take, Take care, care, Kathy. Yeah, we love teachers. Teachers... You know, every time, every time uh, you you stop and go, who who needs my help today? Always remember teachers. Mm-hmm. Cause, Absolutely. Because they're out there using their own money out of their own pockets. You yeah, know? often, too. They do. I hey. love those teachers that brought in the candies and stuff. Those were- <laughs> now, there you go. <laughs> those are the best teachers. <laughs> All right, so I don't want to dwell on it, but okay, let's talk about the picture that was on Instagram uh-huh. and they took it down. That was all you, right? Yeah. Um, so, we had so much fun. We talked about that for like an hour. Yeah. Really? Yeah, thank you for that. Gave yeah. me lots of entertainment. Oh, my morning. goodness. Well, I've been having a lot of fun with it as well <laughs> for 30 years. <laughs> yes. Let's not stop now. <laughs> I mean, well, again, for instance, we, we, uh, we had our big holiday party yesterday. We have this tradition where one of our guys puts his bare ass through a, a reef and we a wreath, and we take pictures of it. Uh-huh. Instagram pulled it down yesterday because I guess it was too whatever. Oh, wow. So they took your, your picture down. What is wrong with the human body that we have to take yeah. stuff down like yeah, that? Yeah, especially when it's clothed, you know. It's, exactly. I mean, like, it's it's like any other body part that's clothed. I have a tight-fitting shirt on. I mean, this is, like, this is too revealing. I, like, to me, I'm an Instagram fan, so, like, you can't really pull the wool over my eyes. I see I see everything on Instagram. Right. Yeah, you, you know can. what I'm saying? So, um, you know, like, I'm, I'm not a snitch, so I'm not going to, like, say no name. <laughs> <laughs> say them, say them. But, <laughs> but, you know, it's it's a bit of a double standard. I mean, I don't really care that much. I mean, I love Instagram. Right, um, you know, Twitter will keep it up. They're dirty over there. Yeah. <laughs> and plus, you got a lot of joke, a lot of laughs out of it because oh people were like coming up with very funny memes so and stuff much. like that. So, it's yeah. been incredible. It's been an incredible couple of weeks. You know, I've I've had more conversations about my junk than I've ever had. <laughs> no, wait, hold on a second. Why do we call it junk? That's such a negative. <laughs> junk is a, it's a junk. That's not junk. That's a work of art in there. Yeah, I mean, you know, as as men, we don't we don't we get very little wins. You know what I'm saying? So like. <laughs> No, you won on that one. Yeah, you won. <laughs> you, you the big win. By the way, uh, coming in today, he didn't walk down the street. He was pole vaulting all the way to the radio station. <laughs> you, should, you should be very proud that you oh have a big gosh. one. There's nothing you know, wrong with and, that. And you never really know because, I mean, a woman no, can you tell, you, tell you, no, a woman can tell you all the time, oh, my goodness, you're the best. Oh, you're the biggest. You're the greatest. And you think, oh, they're gassing you because, you know, that's, you know, that's what happens, yeah. right? But it's not until you show the world <laughs> <laughs> that you really know what you're working with. Now, my confidence is a little different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I walk through really? a room a little different. I, absolutely. No, really. Now, has this changed your, your the way you can... 120%. Don't worry that everybody's looking there. The, absolutely. The first thing. Yeah. You know, you gotta, I, gotta, I choose my pants a different way now. You know, notice I got on slacks today. It's not... It's, uh, the jeans, you know, I don't really like jeans as much. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm so disappointed. He walked in with like some baggy ass yeah. pants. On. And then wait a minute, they took MC it out. Hammer pants. They took it out of cats, right? They had the CGI. Oh a yeah, bit. so so definitely, I was actually looking for that. I wonder if other people were looking for it as well. And I was like, yeah, that's definitely not my vibe. That's not my situation. So they definitely CGI the vibe. Well, let's, okay, let's stop talking about his his his, his, okay. his organ. Let's talk about his fine butt. <laughs> okay, he works hard no. on it. But you know, it, it's it, it's so funny how uh, there was also another calendar that came out. Mm-hmm. The guy who's in that film, and he show, you show the outline of his thing. I showed it to you. I work out with him. God, what oh, is it? Oh, uh, no. Oh God. John no. God. Whatever. There was another an, an actor recently, uh-huh. and they were doing pictures of him on the beach, and he had this tight, tight thing on it. Chase Crawford. Chase Crawford. Yeah. They didn't take that off in, in Instagram. No. Hmm. No. You know what? I think it's size discrimination. <laughs> is that what so that is? It, it depends on... It has <laughs> to be under a certain amount, I think. Yeah, I think. Oh, please. <laughs> I think, 
Uh, well, <laughs> sorry, scary. Uh, no, the point is, is there I'm is a double standard going on. You know what? And, and now, but now, if people uh, come up to you and shake your hand and they look down at your at your crotch, now you know what women have been <laughs> yeah. going through all these years. You know, it's like, all right, guys. Eyes off my boobs, back to my eyes. Did, right, we right. did an interview on one of our radio uh, things, and there was an artist, and I'm not going to say who, and I had a well, you know low cut thing. The entire interview, he looked at my the entire interview. Wow! And when I got off the stage, I thought it was just me until everybody around us said, "Damn, he didn't look at your eyes once." Wow! So it was very. It's you know. Did, so how did you feel about that? Were you? Were I was you upset. Discussed, you were upset about yeah, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you? Do you get upset if people start looking at it all the time? Um, no, not really. I'm, I'm cool. It's all good. Because I can be honest, <laughs> I haven't looked at it once. <laughs> yeah, he had a sit pants immediately. Uh, anyway, okay, we got more to talk about. I want to play this song, too. Talk With Your Body? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Talk With Your Body. Yeah, yeah we, we got that coming up. What oh, about you, Beyond Cats? We're, what's next? Are you going to take some time off? Man, Are you going to go home hang out with Mom for Christmas? What are you doing? I'll be completely honest, man. Um, I've been receiving, like, a lot of really cool scripts. Um and really yeah did you know it was gonna go this route this route are you excited about this um I thought it would have happened a lot sooner actually <laughs> <laughs> no no I'm just joking um so he's not <laughs> <laughs> I actually um started writing screenplays myself because I wasn't receiving scripts that I was inspired by really and cats came about and like I was like oh this this seems to be like the perfect bridge for me and um ever since cats came about like now I'm starting to get like all of these um dope scripts and I'm like when it rains it pours you know mm. so like I'm I'm really excited about the next phase which will include a ton of acting good for you yeah wow. thank you you know and here's the funny thing you you'll be a fan of Jason Derulo or any any artist from the in the music end mm-hmm. and you oh he can act too well no it's a whole different thing oh, is, for sure. and even in the the world of music and performing on the stage versus performing in a studio the two really don't have a lot in common. They're Definitely different, not. different, yeah. different jobs. But to be working on uh, a movie, a film, mm-hmm. as opposed to you know producing your own shows when you're out there doing the big shows, you actually have to sit back and let someone else drive. Man, you have to be directed, and you've got to trust For them. Sure. Talk about that. Um, it's a very humbling experience, and um, nobody has asked me about that. And um, it's actually like bringing back memories. But like, it's like you're so right. I'm so used to being in the driver's seat and controlling everything that um, uh, even when I was watching the show last night, I was being, I was, yeah, I would have probably turned that part up a little bit. <laughs> it's, like, right. it's like really, like you're really kind of giving um, full control to somebody else and it's a totally totally different thing i was talking by the way jason derulo is here we're talking about cats coming out this weekend in case you're just joining us and this will be on the replay later so you can hear everything that that brought us to this point so i was talking to taylor swift the other night at jingle ball about Mm -hmm. cats and i said you know and i know we know taylor very well and we know how much work she puts into her stage shows Mm -hmm. and everything she does everything she wears she is controlling every square inch of it yeah i said to her hey taylor what's it like Sitting back and relinquishing control and letting someone else mm-hmm. do it, and she said it felt great. She said yeah. she said it felt awesome to trust someone else. She's learning new things. Yep, you know you're learning new things by letting someone else direct you. Absolutely, and it helps when you have an incredible director like Tom Hooper. I mean, he's just a class act. I probably I think he's probably the classiest director out there right now. Um, and I was joined at the hip with him as much as I could be because I was trying to soak in all the information that I possibly could because I just think he's just incredible and his his visual, uh, the way he uh, is able to make a story come alive on screen is very different than others. Um, and watching Cats like last night is, is no different. I mean, when I watched Les Mis the first time, I was blown away. And I feel like Cats is, you know, it's the same vibe. It's like this 360 uh, approach that's that's different to other directors. Good for you, Jason. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. You know, yeah. we always tell, tell our listeners, look for a new way to live your life. Find a new door to walk through. Mm-hmm. Be a little scared sometimes and challenge yourself. Otherwise, you get into the routine. Oh, that's good. And, and life is just kind of routine when mm-hmm. it's routine. Mm-hmm. Get out there and blow it up. For Have sure. some fun. Uh-huh. You're obviously doing that. And your energy is incredible. You smell delicious. Thank you. You, taught me, you taught me how to walk like a cat. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this has been a busy morning. For sure. All it's right. ironic that you say that because I'm actually doing that on Instagram. I'm like really, really living um, because my my New Year's resolution last year was to live more. So I've been doing this thing called Drulo Does It, hashtag Drulo Does It. Yeah. And like been like, I've jumped off a building. I swam with sharks. You know, I'm probably be uh, wrestling 
Buffalo's next. Well, let's, not, let's not lose our life. Yes, please. But, but getting close to losing your life is a little bit exhilarating. And man, it's been a lot of fun. I'll be honest with you. You know, because a lot of times people will ask you, like, how was New Zealand? I'll be like, oh, I don't really know because I was in a hotel room the whole right. time. Yeah. And this has, like, brought a whole new life. Hey, you know what? You want to start right now? You're on your way to work? Let me challenge you. Rather than turning on that right every time you make a right to go to your office... Go left. Oh, I can't do that. No, no, no. Yeah, you can. Go down the My block. My OCD get the best. Drive a different way to work today. Just something as small as that. It changes mm-hmm. your brain. It, it teaches mm-hmm. you to get out there and adapt. So if it's not jumping off a building, take a different way to work. You know, yeah. do whatever you can. Make it. Mix it up. Yeah, you know? make it interesting. Look, Jason, I, I got to play the song. Uh, you're going to be on with Fallon, my best friend. Yeah. You're going to be on with uh, James Corden. Yeah. I love, love James Corden. Man, He's so the good. He's funniest guy. Man, it's it's incredible. Like, his timing is, is insane. Yeah. Well, look, uh, it's always a pleasure having you here, Jason. i got to play your song. Is it ready to go? It's ready Talk to go. Talk with the body. Let's hear it. Jason Derulo. Yeah. Uh, go see Cass this weekend. Me.